Ancient Egyptians cut granite blocks with tolerances of 1 50th of an inch, precision that requires diamond-tipped tools and high-speed machinery. Yet they supposedly used only copper chisels and stone hammers. When modern engineers examine these cuts under microscopes, they find evidence of techniques we can barely achieve today. How did they slice through the hardest stone on earth with tools that shouldn't even scratch the surface? To understand this mystery, we must examine the materials involved. On the Mohs scale of mineral hardness, granite registers between six and seven. This igneous rock, forged in Earth's molten core, contains quartz and feldspar crystals that make it incredibly resistant to cutting. Meanwhile, copper, the primary tool material of ancient Egypt, scores only three to four on the same scale. Copper tools simply cannot scratch granite, let alone cut precise blocks from it. Yet we find granite blocks cut with such precision that you cannot slide a piece of paper between them. Even more puzzling, we find evidence of high-speed drilling in granite cores, with spiral grooves suggesting rotational speeds impossible with hand tools. The precision achieved by ancient stone workers is staggering. Surfaces are flat to within fractions of a millimetre over several metres, this level of accuracy is difficult to achieve even with our most advanced diamond-tipped tools and laser-guided machinery. Yet ancient craftsmen achieved this using supposedly primitive hand tools. The complexity extends beyond flat surfaces. We find granite vases with narrow necks and hollowed interiors that are impossible to create by hand from the outside. Creating such shapes requires the ability to work stone from within, suggesting some form of high-speed lathe or contour-following tool. The hieroglyphs carved into granite show breathtaking detail and sharpness, not the rounded, worn shapes you'd expect from slow abrasion. Perhaps the most compelling evidence comes from granite cores found at ancient sites. These cylindrical pieces show spiral grooves cut deep into the stone, Analysis reveals these grooves indicate a feed rate of approximately one inch per minute, hundreds of times faster than possible with hand tools. Such speed requires tremendous downward pressure and rotational velocity, hallmarks of powerful machinery, not manual labor. Attempts to replicate this drilling with copper tubes and sand result in crumpled tools and negligible progress. Yet we find perfect cylindrical holes throughout ancient Egyptian sites with walls so smooth they appear machine-made. The grooves themselves show characteristics of tapered drill bits, a sophisticated design feature used in modern machining. The scale of the operation compounds the mystery. The Great Pyramid alone contains over two million precisely cut blocks. Yet archaeologists have found remarkably few tools capable of such precision work on this massive scale. The tools we do find, copper chisels and stone hammers, are wholly inadequate for precision granite work. An operation of this magnitude would require an industrial infrastructure, yet we find no evidence of the massive tool-making industry that would be necessary. There are no broken drill bits, no worn saw blades, no remnants of the advanced machinery such precision would require. The technology appears to have emerged fully formed, with no evidence of development or experimentation. The evidence is undeniable. Ancient Egyptians possessed stone-cutting technology that we struggle to replicate today. Whether this knowledge was lost to time or deliberately hidden remains one of archaeology's greatest mysteries. Next, we'll explore how they moved these precisely cut blocks across impossible distances, adding yet another layer to this ancient enigma.